Today we are here with a very special guest. He is very unique at the University of Luxembourg. Why? Because he's from non-EU country, from Pakistan, and he's studying a bachelor at this university. guys and welcome to this channel once again today we are here with a very special guest he is very unique at the university of luxembourg why because he's from non-eu country from pakistan and he's studying a bachelor at this university so sad hello and thanks hello. for coming here today it's a pleasure uh, can you please tell us about yourself uh, introduce yourself to the audience and tell us about your background a little bit. Okay, uh, my name is Saad Shakil, as you mentioned, and I'm from Pakistan. I did my high school and all of my primary education in Pakistan. I did a Cambridge, British Cambridge A-levels degree, which is, I did it from Pakistan, but it is considered a British degree. So that's an important point, which I will come back to later when we talk about the procedure. So yeah, and I'm majoring in computer science, bachelor in computer science to be specific, and it's my second year, fourth semester right now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you were, before coming to Luxembourg, you were in uh, Pakistan, so completely uh, living in Pakistan before? Uh, yes. So you've never been to Europe to leave or something? No, I, I spent some of my childhood years in Dubai, but I think that doesn't count in the administration admission procedure at all so yeah yeah pakistan. i don't think so yeah pakistan completely and where exactly in pakistan you're coming from uh, it's a city called wa kand okay it's uh, close to the capital city islamabad okay so, yeah and uh so what do you study here in luxembourg exactly bachelor in computer science bachelor in computer science yes. and um is there any minimum eligibility for your uh, gpa or something that you got uh, into this program uh, well they don't exactly specify this on the website or admission admission procedure yeah but as I have talked to other students and I believe that the normal consensus in European countries is the C grade which is like 70% normally 70% so, okay. yeah, I believe if you have at least 70% a C grade yeah then you should get into this university of course there's other criteria as well okay. you, there's a lot of other things motivation letter extra thing a lot of stuff yeah so if you have 70 percent if you have less than 70 percent maybe you can get in but the course itself is going to be very difficult for you okay and uh, so in the in the framework of pakistan how much is it is it c or i don't know how is the uh, uh, grading system in pakistan it's different uh, but 70 percent should be because I think, I'm not really sure because I didn't study the exact Pakistani curriculum. Yeah. But it's somewhere in marks between, I don't know, 1,200 or 1,400. So if you do a 70% of that, I don't know, it's something like mm -hmm. 800, 900, whatever. Yeah, I'm not really good so at that. So you acquired your diploma in Dubai or? No, in from Pakistan. Okay. But the, cur the diploma was british cambridge a levels okay and all levels before but basically british cambridge so okay. the grading system and all of that was based on british schooling system uh, do you think that this british schooling system helped you a lot with this yes uh, a lot application a lot because there's from the u university perspective i believe that it really didn't matter that much because they look at your skills and other things but before the university procedure the, for applying to bachelors, I will stick to bachelors here because that's what I do and I don't want to give any misinformation that I don't know. So what I did was, and for every other bachelor student from non-EU countries, there is a procedure that you have to get your high school diploma recognized based on the Luxembourgish schooling system. Yes, I have that in the yeah. questions, so yeah. we go deep into that later. Yeah. So we talked about your uh, diploma and the next question is, which languages do you speak? Well, I speak English fluently, I would say. Yeah. I can understand it professionally. And I speak my home language, Urdu, which doesn't really count in Luxembourg, so not really worth mentioning it. And I speak a little bit of French, but I learned French after coming here. 
Okay. So I would say I'm somewhere around A2. A2 in French yeah. and uh, your level in English with the C1? Yeah, oh, full okay. proficiency. Okay, good. And um, can you tell us about the procedure of applying at university? Yes. So uh, how it goes is before the application in the university specifically, so when the application procedure opens, you have get access to a portal in which you have to upload all your documents. And one of those documents is the recognition of your high school diploma based on the Luxembourgish school system. And that is a very confusing and specific procedure because it varies case by case and country by country, everything like that. Yes, exactly. I noticed that it's uh, the hardest part of getting yeah. admission from bachelor degree in the University of Luxembourg. Can you tell us about this procedure of recognition diploma, high school diploma? Yes, so you have to uh, send some documents, including your high school diploma transcript of grades and all that. There are some extra documents like CV and you can see it on the website. Yeah. You can probably provide the link in the description, something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we put the link in the description. Yeah, so you have to send your high school diplomas and they recognize it as in they check if 13 years of education in your country is equal to 13 years of education in Luxembourg. Okay. And if it is recognized, they send you a letter which says that, okay, yeah, this person has studied something that is relevant in Luxembourg. So if you get that letter, then you can complete your application at the university's admission portal and okay. then you can send your application to the You faculty. can submit your application exactly. after that. But uh, what are the requirements for this recognition of diploma? So um, I'm not really sure about what are the requirements, but on the website it has been specified that for the country's signatory of, these, of some Paris and Lisbon convention, yeah. they are, it's a different procedure for them. So for non-EU countries, for let's say Pakistan, if they have done the local high school diploma, the, the one specific to Pakistan. Yeah. If they've done that, then they also need some sort of, some years of university bachelor education. I asked this from the ministry specifically, and there is one student here from Bangladesh, which is, uh, the it's also a third world country, of course, and the high school diploma is considered similar to Pakistan. And he, that person, he also completed two years of university education in computer science, and based on that, he applied here and then he got into first year of Bachelor in Computer Science in Luxembourg. So he has done his uh, two, years, two years of university in yes. Bangladesh. Yes, and then he came here. Now, I'm not saying that this may apply to everyone else because, like I said, it's really case by case specific. And yes. Yes. And also, I have to tell you that the procedure might... Uh, be different from year to year. Exactly. So please check the website that I put in the description. This website is the main website that you can rely on. This is from the ministry itself. So you can find all the relevant information because I'm telling you every year they are changing and developing the website with new requirements. So please check it out. And uh, another thing before you move on, that yeah. also I suggest to send you specific emails tailored to your specific requirements to the ministry so that they can and I'm not saying that they will answer in a very detailed manner or they will answer at all but you should try that because if they answer that because you know ministries normally don't answer emails yeah but if they do that will be the most specific path that you should take so try sending emails to them even if they don't answer just try it's yeah just hard. try to contact them I don't yes. know about your case but for my case I was also having so many questions while I was coming to Luxembourg and I sent email to them and they were responding to my emails very nicely so try to contact the ministry yourself uh, so thank you so much so far it was very nice um, uh, most of my audience asked me uh, if there is any scholarship for bachelors in Luxembourg? I believe there are some scholarships, but when I applied, I did not research specifically into scholarships. But since there have been more students here, they claim that there have been scholarships and they are on scholarships. So I can't really specifically answer this question because I haven't gone through that procedure. Yeah. But if you search through the university's website and email them, get in contact with them, 
whatsoever, yeah. they can probably help you with it. I can say that there is most probably some scholarship for bachelors, at least one. Or uh, more specifically for non-EU students. Yeah. Um, I need to say this once again, that um, we are trying to give you information about what we have done ourselves so far. But if you want to be more exact and precise, please check the website of the university or the website of the ministry for more precise and reliable information. And um, can you tell us about the visa procedure from Pakistan? Yes. So after you get accepted into the university, yes. uh, you, do you get an, an admission letter from the university, which is normal. And after that, for me specifically, and I think it's for all third country nationals, you have to apply for a temporary authorization to stay in Luxembourg. Yeah, it's for 90 days. Exactly, yes. Saying. You have to send your documents, a lot of documents, which is financial proof and all that. Again, check the website for that. Yes. You have to send it to the Ministry of Immigration of Luxembourg, Immigration yes. Directorate, something like that. You can also provide the link to that. And they then assess your application. It is again, case by case, Financial proof matters a lot. Yes, that. it's very important. Exactly. In most cases, the financial proof is a bank statement of six months, ideally. Yes. In some cases, it's different. You can show assets or I'm not sure about that. But basically, in most cases, it's a bank statement. And for a bank statement, it should be six months. Six months, so yeah. So let's say if you want to apply in July, June or July, it has to be somewhere starting from somewhere around January. Yes. And in that case, they have to be prepared about that. In, uh, which is again check the website but it is 15,000 euros you should show that um, I guess now it increased to uh, mm -hmm. something around 17,000 euro but uh, for my case I contacted the ministry directly and they gave me the precise number yeah. for that so if you are really concerned about this number contact the ministry directly yeah. and um, one last question so, do you recommend this university and the country in general? Of course, most definitely I do. But I would still say that choosing a country and a university is specific to many pe different people differently. They, many people are looking for different courses, different job opportunities and all that. But I would say that if you, for example, you have two universities in two countries that take most of your boxes, I would personally prefer Luxembourg because so far, it has been really good to me. Uh, I have I have had a lot of opportunities, career opportunities, connections, a lot to learn. And overall, I can't say bad things about it. So uh, there are more, uh, lots of oppor job opportunity for yes. you after graduation as a computer scientist. Yes, as I've heard, yes. And hopefully I'll experience it soon. But yeah, it should be good. Yeah, best of luck for you. Thank you. And um, I just need to mention that uh, really there is no real heaven out there. So it's all based on what you want in your life and uh, what is your perspective about where you are living. Some people prefer to live in a small countries like Luxembourg yeah. and they are really happy. But some people do not like to exactly. live in uh, small countries. So. We cannot tell you if this country is the best or it's 100 exactly. best and nice or not. Uh, it's just about what you like in your life and uh, what is uh, your goal in life. So we cannot really tell anyone that this country is the best or this country is the worst. So it's all based on what you want in your life. Exactly. And um, that's all questions that... Uh, I could ask from you. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And uh, is there anything that you want to mention before we finish this yeah, interview? Actually, yes. Uh, so regarding the immigration admission procedure, all of that. Yes. I recently came across a startup, a business called Move Me. Yes. Uh, their whole idea, their whole business is based on helping people come to Luxembourg from yes. different countries, different nationalities. They They have a really nice app where you can just tell your, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it basically lists out all the procedures that you have to take. And it begins from applying to the university until you come here, you settle down, you open a bank account, SIM card, all of that. So yeah, those so two brothers are doing an amazing job. You should definitely check out that website and their application. I think they developed it now. Yes. Yeah, but you should definitely 
check out Move Me. We will also provide the link in the description. Yes. And you should definitely check that out. It's yes. amazing. Uh, last year, it was that big idea. Exactly. That I uh, get to know this uh, startup. And yeah, I put the link in the description. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Sat, really, mm -hmm. I really appreciate your time that you came today to have this uh, lovely conversation together. And um, uh, so if you really find this uh, video helpful, please like it. It really helps me and others mm -hmm. to find this video. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, yeah, subscribe do... to his channel, turn on... Uh... Notification no. like click on the bell icon and yeah share it comment it and yeah and subscribe yeah and you'll find all the relevant uh, links in the description so until the next video i should say goodbye